happy summer everybody it's Kirsten and Apollo and um, today is June 19th 2020 and we are going to Vegas tomorrow so we just got to oh. the parking <laughs> structure that we're it's not really a structure the parking lot where we're keeping our car while we go to Vegas so we're actually flying into Phoenix Arizona and then we're driving to Vegas Fox we are getting on this bus Let's go. So to promote social distancing, this seat is unavailable unless you are traveling together. Thank you for your cooperation. That's on every other seat in this bus. Yeah, literally sitting every other seat. <laughs> <laughs> so we made it through TSA, but we had some minor inconveniences where Evie and I didn't know that we were supposed to take out our laptops and computers and um, What's the other thing called? Oh, our iPads out of our bags while we were <laughs> um, going through TSA. So that was interesting. They had to go through our bags again. And then all they did for Apollo was he walked through the metal detector after me. And then they patted him down. And we were all good. <laughs> Phoenix and Apollo's just chilling on the ground, you know. <laughs> and uh, we had to wear masks the entire flight, which was so wonderful. But it's okay, I ate most of the flight because I eat a lot of food, <laughs> and that means you can take off your mask. Phoenix, and we're leaving the airport right now. First off, it is super hot, it's like 106 degrees here. Um, and then, yeah, we're driving to Bag, not Baggage Plan, we're driving to get our rental car, so that's good. What colors are her gonna be? Black, white. white. I guarantee it. White. Black. In the desert. White. White. And you already know it's a Walmart run because no matter where we travel, we have to stop at a Walmart. It's literally rules. Okay, so it's kind of weird that this Walmart requires customers to wear masks. So we had to walk all the way back to our car and grab masks, which is like super dope. Like, loving life. Apollo's feet are probably burning on this black concrete and it's 104 degrees out. So you already know what's up, guys. We are on our way to Sliding Rock and we just stopped at McDonald's and we stopped at um, Starbucks because they all can eat gluten and I can't. So I got myself some egg bites and a cold brew and they all got whatever they got. Okay, so the Sliding Rock Park actually was um, already full even though it's already 8 a.m. But it's fine, so we're thriving. There's this sign that says like you can't like go like south of this sign but you know what for legal reasons we're not gonna do it <laughs> so there's no one around except for my family so i'm letting him walk like on a normal leash like a normal le leash length away from me but normally like if i was in public i wouldn't let him do this but it's nature and i want him i want him to enjoy the trip as well so we're just going to slide rock right now so this trail is definitely super fun my family is on the other side of this river i walked across it and it went to like up here on my legs and apollo soaked of course but he's wearing his waterproof jack uh, wind uh, service dog vest so we good We just found out that the Cosmos only open on the weekends and Friday. And it's Sunday, so basically our, our entire stay, we won't be able to go swimming at the Cosmo, which sucks. So I was really excited for because our pools look pretty dope, but whatever, I guess. Look how much stuff we have. Like, what? We made it to the Jockey Club with quite a few, um, <laughs> I don't know how to say it, um, Bumps in the road. Um, that was probably the most interesting hotel check-in I've ever experienced. 
Um, yeah, basically they advertised this place wrong and my, we are not exactly happy about it. Uh, so we called booking.com who booked our thing and we got moved to a different hotel because we're from Wisconsin, we just want the pool. But the lady who came is super nice. Say hi. Hello, hello. <laughs> so yeah, everything's good now. So how was that experience, everybody? <laughs> I like the brief fountains, and now we can move on to a better pool. <laughs> pool! Let's go. Okay, Paolo, come. Good boy. While we have a few moments here, we just got updated that my dad has to be the one to check us into the hotel. So that's like great news because my dad's like on the opposite side of Vegas right now, trying to park our car, and i have just, it's fine. So my mom's waiting over there. We're chilling here with all of our luggage. And you know, Paolo's just being the best boy. I'm out here making TikToks. So if you guys haven't gone and checked my TikTok out, TikTok out yet, oh my gosh, this is why I don't talk. Um, then go um, into the description and go check out my TikToks. Thanks, guys. All right, so this is our room. It's a double door to walk in first off. All right, so this is um, me and my sister's room. This is so super bad. cute. We got a Oh, that's a big old bathroom. Jack and Jill sinks. We'd love to see it. Okay. And then we got closet. This nice house kitchen, TV, our bed, a couch, and then a beautiful view, of course. And like, look at that pool. That is nice. Okay. Hi, guys. Okay. I don't even think that's our pool. No, it's not our pool. <laughs> oh, we have a jacuzzi! Your bathroom is a kitchen. Okay, and they, <laughs> and they have this nice kitchen with the island and everything. And then one bathroom, living area, and then they got their bathroom. This is like the presidential suite. Like, what? <laughs> and then, a job, Dad, you're gonna be my video. And then, tub, clear shower, and bam, toilet. <laughs> Apollo. Yeah. We are going on a walk and we just found out that the outside of our hotel has a pet relief area So this is like dope. Like look at the sign. So cute. And then there's a gate. Push. Come on Palos. Look at that. You can go pee now. Literally there's no grass here. Like literally Vegas has no grass. Like I'm telling you if you've never been here, no grass. We just um, got lost at MGM so now we're walking down the strip. Just us two and Apollo. So, you know, we're thriving. Um, first, we did walk down the strip and we already saw seven showgirls, so. So it's 5 a.m. and I'm really tired. <laughs> what are we doing, Mom? We're hiking before the heat of the day. Yay. It's 85 already outside. Doesn't feel like it, I'm wearing pants. That's <laughs> in our room. Oh, I'm falling. Apollo, Apollo, hey, Apollo, go in. Good boy, look at you, you big handsome man. Oh, 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 oh. We're going on a hike. This hike is called the White Domes Scenic Bayway. This is the sign for it. Byway, Byway sorry. Um, yeah, it's kind of cool, so we'll see how it goes. Just for reference, the reason I won't be holding Apollo's leash is because there is literally no one here. So, don't come at me that leash laws and stuff because um, I don't want to hold his leash and I don't have a long one with me. So, we're just going to thrive. Just how it is, okay? Thanks. And the trail starts out with fluffy white sand and he's pooping. I love it. What you doing, bucko? Yeah, hi baby. Oh yeah, big mountain dog. Water break. Update. Um, we found a road and then we walked, walked next to it. And we found a car. That was honestly not bad of a hike. It's not even that warm out. It's just kind of nice out, guys. <laughs> hi babies. <laughs> so yeah, we're like back to the car already. Oh, hi. Hi. So. <laughs> Next hike, what is this what is this one called, mom? Fire wave. Fire wave. And it's an out and back and it's like what? One and a half round trip. We made it to the end of this trail.
Looks like Evie's getting red. So it's like really warm, so we dumped the water on top of his head. Right, Apollo? Come here. Show them your water head. Yeah, all those spaghetti noodles. Don't mind my messy hair. I haven't brushed it yet. But we came to the visitor center now that it's 9 a.m. Yes, it's only 9 a.m. and we went on two hikes already. But look at this sign. Hold on. <laughs> that's funny. Pause it if you have to. But yeah, that's funny. It's like hot. It says don't hike. But you know, we just finished our hike. It's a good day. We went to the gift shop and I got a patch for Apollo's vest and a pin for my collection. And I got a popsicle. So. <laughs> You can go in the water? Go ahead! Good boy! Look at you! <laughs> so I threw a rock in the water <laughs> in hopes he'd go try to get it. <laughs> oh, that is so funny. Uh, there's these kids who came up to uh, up the escalator and they saw a problem and the little girl goes Hi brown doggy. It was honestly the cutest freaking thing I've ever seen and honestly seeing Vegas with everybody in masks is super now, weird This is my all-time favorite part of walking into the Cosmo because they have this gorgeous high heel shoe plus this thousand, I don't even know how much money, but this chandelier is literally crazy. It goes three floors We're on the top floor of ceiling Middle floor with bar, and of course the casino at the bottom. But that's a bar in the middle of a freaking <laughs> chandelier. I know. Can you tell me um, a little bit about this chandelier? It's big. made out of Waterford crystal. Very, very expensive. All of it. How much was this thing like generally? I don't know. I don't remember. Too big of a number? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah it's please. expensive. You're leaving me, I gotta catch up. <laughs> <laughs> it is only 10 p.m. but you know what we spent 10 hours in the sun good night So we sat at the pool basically all day and now, well, we went back to the room, like showered, started to pack up because we switch hotels tomorrow and now we're going to dinner. But we're walking inside so he doesn't need boots and because, you know, he's tired of his boots, so. So this is where we're eating tonight, Wolfgang Puck Bar and Grill. Apparently they have a lot of vegan and gluten-free food, so let's see how it goes. So what I ordered is a mushroom gluten-free pizza. I'm um, not really sure it's on it, but it looks good. Um, they got a burger and they shared it, so it came split in half. Super cute. And then she got a vegan burger with a regular vegan burger that's not actually vegan. Okay, how all ready? Check. Good boy. MGM signature and we're we're like our hotel room is in um, tower three but what the pool is only open at tower two so that's where we are and today we rented a cabana and this place like we thought we were gonna get like one of the small ones but we got like a big one so we have two couches two like coffee tables and I have a mini fridge it's safe and this TV and it's like super nice so I'm really excited about it and then obviously Apollo's with us and the floors are concrete so that's nice um, and we're like this thing has a shade over it so um, they Apollo won't get as hot. Tips and tricks for taking a dog to a pool especially in a really hot state like Nevada. All right so first step obviously poop bags. I keep them on my purse. Those obviously make sense. Take breaks, go to the bathroom, there's doggy areas all over. Um, Apollo, come here. And of course, the dog boots. These ones are the mesh ones by Roughwear. Um, they help him stay a little bit cooler, but they still protect the paw, paw pad of the foot. And then obviously, um, his service dog vest, because dogs aren't allowed here, so we have to make sure he's properly. 
label, that's what I was trying to say. And then uh, the number one thing you want to make sure you bring to a pool in a hot state is a water dish and ice cubes because his favorite snack is ice cubes so we're good on that point but um, he does need his water because it is so freaking hot here. He has his ice water, there's ice on that towel, and then he is just straight to it in the shade from the lifeguard. So this is what we're doing at the pool. I just want to check in with everybody and let you know that my new medication made me sick. <laughs> After throwing up, I feel so much better. Like you guys do not understand how much better I feel now that I threw up. But <laughs> anyway, it's good. Um, the pool's really nice. It's really hot out. But we like it. Um, we are currently at Lake Mead National Recreation Area at some lookout, and it's like 90 something degrees. And I don't know why, but I'm in a really bad mood today. Don't know if I need coffee or what, but just in a crappy mood, so. You have to have this vest on now. He can be a normal doggo. Oh, I like naked puppy. We put him in the trunk and then my dad's suitcase fell on him. So now he's standing on it and he's crying because he's upset. Oh, oh, oh no, 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 no. No, don't follow, go back. your pack for you. This is the Bellagio's doggo spot and he's peeing. There's a tree at least. We like that. So this is what Fremont Street now looks like. It looks like we do have some metal detectors. So that's cool. My parents' room, and this is my room. So, walk in, kind of cute. This is our bathroom, tub, lolo spot, <laughs> and then, of course, the clear shower. And then, Evie and I each get our own bed connecting to our parents' room, and they have the same bathroom. Bigger bed, because they share nasty, am I right? And uh, that's the room, and how, what are you doing, boy? You good? You good? I don't know about you, but these Bellagio masks, <laughs> bougie AI. Hello, gorgeous. Hello, Hello, Okay, you ready? <laughs> <laughs> that was so cute. Hey guys, so we're at the Bellagio pool, right? Okay, so. Basically, this lady comes up to me and goes, dogs may be four feet away from the pool. I'm like, oh, easy, I can do that, no problem. And then she goes, they need to be accompanied. I'm like, my dog has never had like issues with that. He can sit in a place, other dogs can walk and play and he'll be just fine. Okay, next, um, I was trying to make a TikTok, of course, and he was just chilling here, not in the water, and my dog has literally never had, an like does not have accidents. Um, but she goes, if they have the accidents, it's a Clark County thing. So you already know I'll be calling the ADA and and filing a complaint about the city, not the city. I've never had other problems. I've been to three other pool, three, four other pools, and I haven't had a single issue with my service dog yet. Um, and it's illegal actually to um, make him be away from me. So you already know they're gonna be uh, hearing from me. My mom's with him right now because I'm gonna get yelled at again. But I become ruthless when people. I become ruthless when other people get involved with my service dog because I'm not really in the mood to die today and they said if he has an accident then he's gonna then he's close the pool. I'm like if I have a fucking seizure you're gonna close the fucking pool. Like bruh. 
so after about an hour of fighting and getting like the head of like the building, um, we figured it out. Um, Apollo has to be behind this line, which makes sense. So now he's over there. He's chilling with us. And yeah, so I'm really happy we won. Drinking at the pool, right, Lolo? Aw, oh, you're so happy. So we're at, the, we're at this cute coffee shop in the Bellagio, right by the pool. And I got this fruit bowl and this um, like coffee thing. And this was $19. 20 bucks for both of these things. Crazy. Day two at the Bellagio pool and Apollo is like four feet away from the pool. He's accompanying because I'm like right on the edge of the pool. And I got a spot in the shade for him and he has ice water and everything. So we're good. Um, and then I get to go like from here and into the sun. This is so nice guys, like seriously. I was like kids, but like it's not that bad. All right, so we're staying in the Venetian and we upgraded to a suite. We walk in, whole like greeting room, okay. My adorable dog, TV, two beds, bathroom. Whoa! Oh my God! The makeup. the toilet again. <laughs> <laughs> the makeup counter. Okay, we see you. What's over here? Oh, a closet. Lovely. All right. Oh, and then you cannot forget the living room. Cannot forget the living room. Oh yeah, you can take steps down to it. And the uh, whole well, living room and. Sixty degrees. Of course. We have a pool view. This is the Venetians, a doggy relief area. Kind of cute. There's a gate. All right. Um. Evie, give me your key. All right. Well, that's cool. We are going out for a potty break. It is currently 9:34 p.m. So, you know, we're going outside. So this is the actual door to the pet relief area. I guess we kind of broke in on the other side, but the door actually opens on this side and that's pretty cool, you know? So we just gotta let him go pee now, right, Paolo? Nice crooked vest, broski. Fix that. There you go, handsome boy again. Go hurry. So we made it to the, what's this place called? Oh yeah, we made it to the Venetian uh, pool. And Apollo is doing good. He has his water vest on and then we poured ice water all over him. And then he's also laying on an ice cold towel so it doesn't get too hot and he's in the shade. So we're good. Guys, I got closer chairs so now Apollo's right there and I'm literally in the water. So this is much better seating and I hope to get these chairs tomorrow. Nacho Daddy and they have a lot of gluten-free and vegan options because she's allergic to dairy so like vegan kind of works for her and then I'm gluten-free obviously so anything gluten-free is good um, but we got two different plates of nachos for me and my parents to share and she got her own like vegan I guess um, nachos so we'll see if Apollo thinks they're gluten-free or not Part two, trying to go to the bathroom if that person still is in the freaking handicap stall. Don't use the handicap stall if you don't need it. Apollo, what are you doing, kid? Why are you in my suitcase? Why are you in there? Good morning. It is June 26th, Friday, and it is our last day here in Vegas. We fly out tomorrow, unfortunately. But it's been, it literally has felt like two weeks, but it obviously hasn't been, so... It's been nice. Um, 
as of midnight, the state of Nevada requires masks um, in every public place. So we'll be wearing masks all day. So let's see how badly I can finesse the system. Today is the last day of our trip. Apollo's pretty happy because he got um, heat spots on his paws. The front two paws, he each have one, has one. And I feel kind of bad, but you know what? We're going home tomorrow, so it should be fine. We do have to work on Monday, which kind of sucks, but it's okay. Walmart will welcome us back. You know what's up. Also, what I want to say about Vegas is... Honestly, I really like it here. I love the big city. I love being able to see the mountains out outside of the big city with all these like big buildings. Um, and they're really nice, pretty much. Um, people have like literally thanked me for putting boots on my dog. And people like some people are like they don't realize how most dog handlers don't realize that um, how hot it is. It's gonna burn their dog's feet. So um, I thought that was super sweet. And the people would see it with him with his boots on, and be like, "Oh, he's so cute! He's so cute! He's so cute!" And I thought it was adorable. So I liked people's reactions. They didn't ask to pat like at all, and it was oh, excuse me, and it was really nice that they didn't ask. So we drove off the strip to meet my mom's cousin Becky. So we're just having dinner, and not dinner. It's more like a, like a brunch. No, not brunch. It's more like a dinner and lunch put together. It's already like one, so I guess it's kind of a lunch. But they're talking, so that's Becky, my aunt. Say hi. <laughs> so I got enchiladas. Those are tamales. And tacos. And she's TikTok famous. Do you bother or I don't talk. More tip. <laughs> Time to go back to the hotel. So we got to the pool and they have these on every single bed and I think it's adorable. And so is my dog. Right, Apollo? So we don't even really need towels. It's literally only 80 degrees so Apollo's paws aren't hot. Right, Bucko? <laughs> On the way to use the puppy bathroom. Paw prints. So we found out that the other side of the uh, doggy area here at uh, the Venetian is actually for the working dogs that work in the building with the security dogs and everything like that. So that's why our key didn't work over there in case you're wondering. Um, but this door is open and it works a lot better. Well, the trip has come to an end guys. We are heading out of Las Vegas for right now. Locked and loaded, ready to go. So we stopped at a gas station. We still have like four hours to drive to Phoenix, but we got an entire bag of snacks for the airplane. Right, Apollo? We got all the snacks. Um, and then we have gotten SpongeBob's because you know what's up. And since it's a long drive, we decided that she gets the back seat and I get the front seat and I can lay down and take naps now. And he can lay right there. That's his spot. I want to introduce you to my new dog. Just kidding, he's wearing a mask and he's super cute. He hates it. I want to introduce you to my new dog. Just kidding, he's wearing a mask and he's super cute. He hates it. Finding ways to lay around <laughs> my dog. How you doing there, Lolo? You comf? We are on the bus to the airport from the car rental place and Paula's just too chillin'. Got my Starbucks cups. <laughs> I also got really upset so I needed some retail therapy so you know, I bought headphones. <laughs> we currently are in the Phoenix airport and um, we've been here for about four hours because our flight was delayed and we really want to go home. So, Paula was on the floor by my dad. He loves my dad more than he loves me, but it's fine. Um, so yeah, look at my sister not wearing her mask. Alright, so we finally made it on the airplane and we are trying to get to Milwaukee now. And Apollo, let me just show him real quick, but we have three hours and 15 minutes left. And there's Apollo sitting down on the floor and we're good to go.